good morning. This is the uh, first video of several on the Becker Rotheta uh, tracker. Uh, please bear with me. Cheap camera, cheap operator. Uh, some of it's going to be a little bit out of focus and the glare was kind of rough in some spots, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go over the, uh, the knobs on the device. Uh, down here at the lower left is going to be the volume. As indicated here, it's set at 5. Squelch knob is located at the top left. Bottom right is going to be the channel selector, for lack of very uh, another term. It's going to be what we're going to decide what we're going to track. Across the top, we've got our page to go between the pages in the device here. Um, and then these are soft keys, clear, store, and rep. They also control whatever's listed below them in the display. As far as the symbology goes, once again we've got volume down here set at 5 on the lower left. The dark colored slider bar over here, the dark portion of the bar, indicates the RF in the air, how much noise is in the air right now. 31% is the value. The top value at 30% is going to be what our delta triangle is set at. The A above it indicates we're in automatic squelch mode, but as we turn the top squelch knob, You'll see the value at the top left change. The noise floor remains somewhat constant. 38% on the noise floor, 27% is what the squelch is set at. If we rotate the squelch to the top or the bottom, one way or the other, it'll enter automatic mode, like that. Now we've got an A above the, uh, above the squelch, and that indicates we're in automatic mode. The center of the display is the relative bearing. Uh, when it gets a signal, it's showing 243. That is relative to the aircraft, similar to an ADF tracking an NDB. It has nothing to do with magnetic heading. Towards the top right, the LS with the colon, that's going to be the time since the last signal. Then once again, the bottom right on the display indicates we are listening right now to the low jack. Those are the basic knob functions and button functions, and we'll come back in just a moment and start talking about the function of the unit.